Today we are going to be talking about diabetes during pregnancy and how you can treat it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I just have to stop whatever I was doing to come and make this beautiful video for a beautiful mom that find out that her blood sugar is Hi. All right. So today we're going to talk about diabetes during pregnancy and some diet tips. So I'm um, just outside. If you hear the breeze or a car parking or a bike, just know I'm just outside. But I just have to stop and do this video for the high risk moms in pregnancy. So let me read this for you. Diet tips. Blood sugar control during pregnancy is important for your health and the health of your baby. The following tips will help you control your blood sugar level during pregnancy. Carbohydrates in food turn into sugar, also called glucose, when digested. Glucose is important for you and your baby, but too much glucose in your blood can lead to problems. It is important to eat the right amount of carbohydrates and to choose healthy foods. Carbohydrates are found in starches, fruits, vegetable, milk, and yogurt. So these food portions should be measured. Sweets and desserts should be avoided as they may lead to high blood sugar levels. So tip one, eat three meals and two to three snacks per day. Example, eating too much at one time can cause your blood sugar to go too high. Eating small a meal and half snack, you have increased nutritional needs during your pregnancy and your baby is continue counting on you to provide balanced nutrients. Tip two, measure your serving of starchy food. Include a starch choice at every meal. A reasonable serving size is about one cup of cooked rice, grain, noodles, or potatoes, or two pieces of bread per meal. Tip three. So one eight ounce cup of milk at a time. Milk is a healthy food and it is important source of cal calcium. Because it is a liquid, milk sugar is absorbed quickly. Having too much milk at one time can lead to high blood sugar. It is best to limit milk to one cup at a time. Tip four, one small portion of fruit at a time. Fruits are nutritious, but because, because they have natural sugar, Eat only one serving at a time. A serving of fruit is one small piece of fruit or half large fruit or about one cup of mixed fruit. Avoid fruits that have been canned in syrup. Do not drink fruit juice. Tip five, eat more fiber. Try whole grain bread, brown rice, wild rice, whole wheat, barley, millet, or any other whole grains include split peas, lentils, and any types of bean. Pinto, red, black. Mm -hmm. These foods are high in fiber and help to keep your blood sugar level lower than when you eat refined grains such as white bread and white rice. Tip six, break fast matters. Blood sugar can be difficult to control in the morning because that is when pregnancy hormones are very strong. These hormones can cause your blood sugar levels to rise even before you eat. Dry cereal, fruits, and milk are not the best choices for breakfast because they are digested very quickly and can cause blood sugar levels to rise quickly. A breakfast of whole grain plus a protein food is usually best. Tip 7. Avoid fruit juice and sugary drink. It takes several pieces of fruits to make a glass of juice. 
Juice is high in natural sugar because it is liquid. It rises blood sugar level quickly. Avoid regular soda and sugary soft drinks for the same reason. You may use diet drinks and crystal lights. Tip 8. Strictly limit sweet and dessert. Cake, cookie, candy, and pastries are high in sugar and are likely to raise blood sugar level too much. These food often contains a lot of fat and offer very little nutrients. Tip 9. Stay away from sugars. Do not add any sugar, honey, or syrup to your food. Tip 10. These essential sweeteners are safe in pregnancy. So, I'm listing these right here on your screen, as you can see. Tip 11. Look out for sugar alcohol in sugar-free food. Sugar alcohol is often used to make sugar-free dessert and syrup. These products can be labeled sugar-free but may contain the same amount of carbohydrate as the virgin made with regular sugar. Look at food labels to see the grams of total carbohydrate. Sugar alcohol may have a lactive effect or cause gas and bloating. The following are examples of sugar alcohol, manitol, and I list the rest, Hydrogen, <laughs> hydrogenate, starch, and the list goes on, just to give you some example. But anyway, mommies, those were just 11 tips that I, that I dropped for you. Use them wisely and please to stay away from anything sweet sometimes you don't even know that what you are eating contain that but know that you're pregnant and you're a high risk mom read the fine print just to be safe me i drink a lot of water i didn't drink any juice for the betterment of the baby i just drink straight water 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 because i know that what i was consuming already have sweet so adding sugar to my diet was just a no-no for me all right, so drink water, mommy, to be safe. Then, sorry, drink your water, drink your little cup of milk, you know, maybe a little orange juice to get your vitamin C. But do not hustle up yourself to be drinking a lot of sweet juice. We know when you're pregnant, you have this craving. But not only think about the food that your body crave for, but think about your health. And think about how much you want to see your your little one all right so please remember if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if I help you in some shape or form use the comment section down below and don't forget if there is a video you love for me to make for you feel free to use the comment section down below and I'll do just that thank you so much for watching say bye baby Kevin a. Bye! Baby Kevin is sitting up. Baby Kevin is pushing backwards off the bed. Baby Kevin is going on with herself. Look out for those videos uploading soon.